Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Akusia Behini. If you're new, if you're a returning subscriber, hey boo, what it do? What it do? Okay, and what it do, girl? So in today's video, as per the title, this is gonna be my submission for the fresh face black girl dark skin girl oily skin girl combination skin girl all right this is my submission for fresh face makeup that we're doing this summer okay i'm gonna be sharing with you guys everything that i do to achieve this look right here this beautiful summer spring inspired makeup look how i layer my base how i place everything products that i use literally all the tea so I hope that you guys enjoy this video if you don't already sub if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and also turn on the bell notification so that you're notified every time I post okay you're gonna be notified first person to know and also if you do like this video please give it a huge thumbs up subscribe be a member of the family and enough of the talk talk okay that's a long freaking intro Wow but enough of the talk talk guys I'm gonna see you guys when I get into the video, okay? <laughs> well, first, I'm gonna go in with my primer. For primer, I'm gonna use the YSL. This is YSL New Blotting Lotion. Like I always say, you wanna keep your primer in the areas where you need it the most. All right, so whatever the primer says that it's for, that's what you want to use the primer for. So I'm just going to tap this in and make sure that my skin absorbs that. So I like to set my primer. I barely do this. If you've been watching me for a while, you know that I never really do this. Okay, so at this point, what I do is I just like go over my nose area. I mean, like I go over lightly, the where it is lightly. Lightly go over the areas where... Um, I have oils and then I just like like to brush the translucent powder over there and then I like to go in the like crevices of my nose because they are so oily so any part of my face that I feel like gets a little too oily I'm just gonna go over it with the powder okay next I'm gonna go in with my foundation now for spring and summer I'm a tinted moisturizer babe all right like I don't want too much except if like I have an evening program when I'm going out in the evening that's a whole different discussion so let's not talk about that but this is like daytime brunch time meetings you know work you know just keeping it simple for the daytime what I'm gonna be using is the tower 28 I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this review if you haven't i'll link it down below this is the tar 28 sunny days spf 30 tinted moisturizer i love this stuff and everybody that watched that video kind of tested the fact that this is a perfect skin match for me if you haven't watched that video you will see here so this and that it works a lot better if you use your um your fingers to do it so I just like to start from the outer areas of my face. I find that those areas are like a lot darker. And then I just like spread that across. And see how nice, oh, I don't even have to say it guys, like you guys will know or you guys will see for yourself like, but then you know that I have something on because you cannot know that I have, like I have something on, you need to know. And I think it really helps when you like tap it in. Sort of like tones it down really nicely. But also another thing that I like to do is use my beauty blender to just like go over that. And then this like finishes it off really nicely. So any part of like your face that you didn't get with your fingers, the beauty blender is just going to like round it up really nicely. Okay, so if you've seen my previous video, you all know that I tried the Maybelline Cheek Heat and I must say that um, I love it, okay? I'm keeping it around. I'm keeping it for every day. I'm keeping it for spring and summer. Also, I think that I've been sleeping on cream blushes. If you've been like me, listen. <laughs> if you've been like me and you haven't tried any cream blush, please, you're missing out, okay? get yourself any just any regular decal one like this one from maybelline from walmart 
it is so good it makes your skin look so good it stays on all day mind blown so I'm gonna take some of that and I always like to um, diffuse that with my finger this color is just really perfect it's beautiful it's it's just nice I love this color so much and then I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just like dab 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 that I think it gives the best results if you do that yesterday I tried to do it with my fingers and I think that I went a little overboard so um, it was pretty but it looked a little too much you know what I'm saying so um, just gonna let you guys know don't don't do it <laughs> don't do your finger and then do too much okay oh this stuff is just really beautiful I love it okay next step guys will be my concealer for my everyday ever favorite I feel like she needs no introduction on this channel um, she should get a name maybe we should call her something she is Maybelline 55 hazelnut Maybelline concealer love this stuff okay it is super lightweight if you want a full coverage out of it you could do it by building it up if you want a lightweight you could do it for medium coverage she's she just all round all weather so I love her so much I'm in a shade I'm not in a shade but the shade that I like to use to highlight or like color correct is hazelnut 55 so that's what I'm gonna use all right what are you looking for So next I'm gonna go in with my contour and I'm gonna I'm just using the same same old same old Juvia's place I will link all my products down below if you want to check them out all right I'll have all my products linked down below for you guys but I'm going to lightly contour so just blend that <laughs> And you see what I'm doing? I am pushing it right under the blush. So I'm not going over the blush. I am going under the blush and pushing it up like so. That's what I'm doing. Placement is very, very important. I feel like um, placement with base also goes a long way to making your face look snatched okay when people say i look snatched today it's just because of how they placed everything and you're trying to get structure with your makeup so what you want to do is work on your placement and make sure that it's like in check makeup is all about like also trying to build structure for your face and in the process of trying to build structure for your face you want to consider your face shape it's very important you want to build the structure in a way that suits your face okay so you're not trying to mimic someone except if you're doing something i don't know but if you're really doing actual makeup you want to do it in a way that your face has already been structured naturally that's the only way so i always say this makeup is only to accentuate our beauty it's not like you're doing makeup to change you entirely that's what i'm always saying you don't want to look like a total different person when you're done so so it's important that you're accentuating the natural features that you already have that's what you want to do with your makeup you don't want to do over and above you're already beautiful everybody each and every one of us is pretty in our own way so you do your makeup in a way that just accentuates that beauty that you already have all right so now that is pretty much done i'm gonna go over everything else with my beauty blender again i just like to do that I start off like on my like um, I start off in <laughs> I start off on my what am I saying I start off on the areas where I've highlighted and then um, I go over every other part and this extra step that I'm doing also just like finishes everything off really nicely because sometimes the blending and the brush the streaks you know you want to finish it off with a blender every time like I feel like 
every time you use a brush go over it with a beauty blender except if you're doing your eyeshadow of course every time that you're doing your base whenever you use a brush go over it with your beauty blender it gives you a much smoother um smoother finish than like you would just get with your brush okay so i am just filling in my brows off i wanted to do it off camera and then i remembered that um it was a full face um, fresh face everyday makeup look so I just wanted to chip that in there do your brows however you do it girl um, but me I just want to fill in my brows the same way that I do it I'm just trying to do lighter strokes so that it doesn't look as like out there out there but I like for my brows to show regardless I really don't mind I, I don't care what kind of makeup I have on I still have full brows like I don't care all right so I'll do that and then I'll come back in and we'll do the rest of the face together um, next step for me will be to set the concealer and basically set every cream that I've used. I'm going to use, um, to do that I'll use the Physicians Formula Butter Buddies. This is their banana powder. It's a pressed powder. I think I like a pressed powder for days like this. And I like a pressed powder for days when I don't want to do too much under my eye, you know, and I see. I think a pressed powder works just best, okay. But I'm gonna take that and a brush and I'm just gonna use that and I'm just gonna use that to lightly set my under eye concealer so what you want to do is also with that you want to look up and then just brush it as closest to your lower lid as possible like so just so that you're able to get all the creases under your eye and then I'm just going to use the brush to just sort of lightly reverse contour, you know, just so that it cleans up that area. So the next step is the eye. And you know, and I see, even on a normal day, I don't think I'm too much when it comes to the eye. If, I'm, if I do say so myself. <laughs> it's only when I'm filming videos for you guys that I do like heavy eye makeup look. But really, you will never catch me outside wearing like a full-on makeup look like no like eye makeup look you will see a full face but you might not see the eye looks that you guys get here just because i feel like i don't have an occasion to take them to just yet um i'm always almost always home i'm such a home buddy so i never really go out with that kind of eye makeup so for the summer i know for a fact that there's not really anything that i'm going to be doing i almost got ahead of myself what I wanted to show you guys is if you've been here for a while you'll notice that I've been using concealers for a long time to prep my eye area every time that I have to do an eyeshadow but now things are a little different and I just want to bring you guys in on that I picked up this elf eyeshadow lock it's just um, and I must say that I love this stuff it's really good the good thing that I like about it is your makeup your eyeshadow is still like really popping I don't know if you've tried it before if you have let me know in the comment section so I think this is what I'm going to be reaching out for in this season it's also very lightweight I feel like with my concealers I always had to do a full face but with this now I can do a super lightweight makeup look and still use this and not look like I have so much going on in my eye area it blends in really nicely your eyeshadow is able to show through really nicely so I love it and um, I think I'm gonna stick with that so I just think I should let you guys know and me when I like something I'm just gonna let you guys know if I don't I'll still let you guys know and I love this stuff I'm keeping it around for everyday use that's why it's easy for me to even pick it up because <laughs> that's how much I like it. So I'm going to go into my Violet Voss palette. This palette has been used. She has been used and abused. She looks so worn out, but she still serves the purpose. Okay, she is an amazing everyday palette. Gives you a mixture of daytime colors and nighttime colors as well as some shimmers. So it's really good. I love it. So I'm just going to do a quick eye look. You guys will see what it looks like. Um, but it's just a quick one. Um, you know what? In all honesty, I have this very basic one that I do. I think I should do that. I just do a monochrome brown eyeshadow look. I just like brush that brown shade all over my eyelid. 
but I focus on defining my brow bone definitely I'm just gonna go ahead and take the physicians formula palette and then there's a highlighter shade in here that's really pretty I'll use that to um, do the inner corner of my eye Next guys is going to be my highlighter. I'm going to use my highlighter to just lightly, ever so lightly brush this over. You see this cheekbone? This section right here? I'm just accentuating that. That's literally all I'm doing. And I have taken little to no product because I don't want a blinding glow. I'm just trying to get a skin like glow. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I see you see it and I see it too. <laughs> so that's all I'm trying to do. You're just trying to get like, um, you're trying to mimic a glow from within. A glow that comes from within. Or like a glow that kind of looks like your skin is producing the glow and not just a glow that you applied. See? yeah tap up the excess as much as you can take a very small amount of product and just focus right here right here <gasps> i might have done a little more than i was supposed to but that's not bad okay that's that part's a little more than i was supposed to so look at here don't look at that <laughs> i want to also sort of dampen my beauty blender so I don't want to actually set my face just yet because I didn't do it like in between steps so I just want to do the beauty blender trick there's also a trick where you spray over your beauty blender press 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 make sure that all that water is absorbed because you don't want to put it on your face wet so what I also do is I tap 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 to be sure if it's not like I don't feel wet and then I'm gonna go ahead and just use that to press my makeup in That was definitely not supposed to happen. That right here, it was not supposed to happen. I feel, my powder was sorted out, don't worry. My powder is actually a powder foundation. So it, it, sorts, it, <laughs> it sorts out everything. This feather seals everything in, feather blends everything out really nicely. Um, gives you a nice skin-like finish that okay um and then um oh i love it i love it i love how my skin is looking i don't feel like i have makeup on and i don't even see it like i'm looking at myself and i'm like my skin still looks the same i feel like i don't you know and that's what we're going for that's the plan that's the trick the art of makeup and trickery that's what we're talking about <laughs> and so the last but not the least step for me will be to set my face this is the Maybelline Superstay full coverage powder foundation now let me let you guys know that this stuff is amazing okay but I never really use it by itself I have never really used it alone I don't think so but if I have I don't remember <laughs> but I use it every time as a setting powder to set my makeup because I find that it finishes off my makeup really nicely. I'm in a shade um, 375, is it? I'm always in a shade 375. When you go to Maybelline, just tell them 375, okay? <laughs> 375, I'm gonna use a brush. And then like start from the lower parts of my face. And then I just press that in. What I do is I don't always like to like, I don't, it's not like always, I don't like to like cover, like entirely cover this area but the lower parts of my face I actually do like to cover it up <laughs> I actually do like to like build on the coverage in that area and then I go over the perimeters of my face I told you I told you <laughs> this powder just makes me so happy like it would take it away like it would solve every makeup problem that you have it will take it away see oh 
you don't even see that I had something there before you don't even see that some highlighter tried to mess me up it doesn't show so that's really nice that's why I like this powder and I will live by hair swear by hair she is my friend <laughs> And then I also like to sort of go over the concealer that I have here just so that it's like nice and toned down. See that? The makeup in itself looks beautiful. Like coming up close, you could definitely see. Um, it's just not my fault. It just looks really pretty. But the powder is good. The powder itself too is really good. And then now the last step. <laughs> The last step, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. This is EVN. I've talked about it this a lot of times on here. It's just water, nothing more, nothing less. This sort of like restores my face and brings the natural glow back out. So I like that. It just gives me really nice balance. So I like this. So I'm gonna use this to just oh, like so, like so. So now the lip. This is. This here is pretty much all I'm using this summer and spring, like this season. This is all I'm using, okay? This is a Maybelline Lifter Gloss. I've said this in my previous video. I'm going to say it again. Hands down. Love this stuff. It's great. It's amazing. Um, it's perfect for an everyday look. This particular shade is in the shade Topaz, my everyday favorite. I have a different shade, but that's not like an everyday, everyday shade, even though it's nude. But if you're looking at nude in this line that um, you can wear every day, then you should definitely try Topaz, okay? I've said this before, and I'm going to say this again. You want to layer your gloss, okay? If you want that very rich, luxury, gloss-looking look, glossy, gloss lip, <laughs> what you want to do is layer the lip, apply, reapply, apply about three or four times, or even five or six if you can, if you must okay and then that's gonna give you that really nice rich glossy look one thing you're gonna see me do this summer is layer my gloss okay my gloss is gonna look glossy gloss as hell so that's one thing you're gonna see for a fact so this is the full-on finished look let me just say that you could definitely add some lashes to this look if you want to um, but if you want to dress down and don't want to do too much you could also decide to skip the lashes this is a look that pairs with everything now let me come close so that you guys see the skin uh it's insane okay shout outs to tower 28 this stuff is really good it gives you the perfect base to build on so i love that and it's perfect for this season that we're getting into this sun the hotness and everything you want to be sure that you're keeping around makeup that makes you feel comfortable and makeup that's also giving you like a much skin like finish a much natural look because it's summer you're going to be outlawed you don't want people to look at you <laughs> you know what i'm saying you don't want people looking at you for the wrong reasons so um so generally this is the beat i'm living by <laughs> this season i'm not gonna lie because when the sun is out and it's so hot sometimes i don't even want to do makeup um but when i want to do something at least like look a little dressed up this is what i do um put on some jewelry accessorize and i'm good to go so i hope you guys like this video i hope you guys like this look i want you to comment below if you like it comment below let me know if this is something that you're gonna try also if you do like it please give me a huge thumbs up okay it helps me to know which kind of videos that you guys like and it also helps youtube to know which kind of content from me that you guys enjoy so please let me know which one that you like and which one you're not liking also please follow me on my instagram or on my social media platforms at kusia and Benhini across all social media platforms so please follow me if i'm not here i'm on instagram every time that you need content if it's not on youtube it's gonna be on instagram all right so follow me on instagram as well you would love it there and um yes guys i'm gonna go away now thank you guys so much for watching i hope you liked it i'll see you guys in my next one bye <laughs> bye guys you don't even know me like that are you past my time put you on my mind Come a little closer like that Staying up all night Throwing drinks by Blue eyes, smiling while you're cursing
reason I admit it's worth 